City with Papa Bella, 95.9. Once we made the decision to go ahead and, uh, and set this up, uh, we couldn't turn back. Uh, we even did not know, in fact naively we didn't even know what it is going to turn out to be. Uh, in 10 years time, in 20 years time, we didn't even imagine that this would be a big uh, political movement which in spite of the violence, in spite of the pressure, will withstand. When you look behind and see the amount of people, the number of people who have died, who have been brutalized, tens and thousands, outside the glare, outside the glare of the international press, international media, what has been happening in that country is the horrendous. And for what? It's, uh, we, we, in 1980, Mugabe declared reconciliation with what? He said, I'm declaring a policy of national reconciliation. But he has never declared a reconciliation with his black opponents. So it's black on black violence that we condemn. And which people did not see for a very long time. Uh, because to them, a liberation movement uh, is sacrosanct. Mm. Uh, Cannot do how wrong. dare you? How dare you challenge the liberators? But if the liberators turn out to be the oppressors, what are people expected to do? And that is the crisis that Africans, especially in this part of the world, they will find that is a crisis. You, you have to draw from somewhere, either divine intervention, a prayer here and a prayer there. When, and I'm sure, as a natural man who lives, eats and breathes, you do have those moments where you have your doubts. What do you draw from it? Is it uh, well, I think that I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, we all have to. We all have to realize that uh, uh, there is somebody up there to whom all we uh, we have to submit, and that somebody is God. Uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to say this because I'm. I'm deeply religious. I'm saying this that no nation, no nation can draw its strength just from the human spirit. I think there is some supernatural, supernatural being that we have to we have to submit to. And I think a lot of Zimbabweans, 80% who are Christian, believe that very strongly. Uh, and and I, I, and I think that faith is not misplaced. Now, when do you believe is the tipping point for your country? You may never know. Uh, some people say, when is the tipping point? And I said, you may, you, you may find yourself passing the tipping point <laughs> and without being conscious about it. Um, yes, the tipping point may have already been arrived at. Um, it's only a matter of conclusion. Uh, when, Mugabe, when a dictator negotiates, that's the tipping point. Okay. Because dictators don't negotiate. So when they negotiate, they submit themselves to the ultimate because they can no longer control the future. Uh, when you have been fully in control and you submit to some other forces, then you are no longer the one defining the future. There the are conspiracy beliefs that perhaps uh, Robert Mugabe is actually not in charge. There are some generals who still need to, uh, you know that book, A Time, Our Time to Eat, yes. <laughs> who still need to eat and as a matter of fact they are forcing Mugabe to stay put. There are people who have, uh, of course, uh, benefited from Mugabe's patronage for the last 30 years, uh, and they become an entrenched, uh, an entrenched group. But let me tell you what: um, as the people who benefit from a system become smaller and smaller group, the more they are isolated from the rest of the population. They can, they can threaten, they can intimidate, they can coerce. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's the people who count. Absolutely. Now, your, your relationship with, with our country, we've had three presidents so yeah. far after Nelson Mandela. We've had uh, Thabo Mbeki. We've had for a very brief time, brief time, Kalimantan. Yes. Now we have uh, 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 Jacob Zuma. 
Has, has your relationship remained constant with these three leaders or was there a time when you felt, I'm getting the support that I actually think is needed from a, a country that is now run by former liberators so they can understand the liberation needs of my own country? South Africa is a very important country for Zimbabwe. I've told everyone, uh, all the presidents, that for me, for South Africa, Zimbabwe is not a foreign policy issue. It is a domestic issue. More so as the crisis gathered momentum in Zimbabwe and instability was the order of the day, when more Zimbabweans crossed the border into South Africa. Apart from a regional perspective, South Africa is the biggest economy.